Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So if you're wondering why the layout's a little different, I decided to just not use a backdrop today and actually use a different lens. I just got back in from Texas. I'm in between jobs right now, and so the, because it's the beginning of the year, um, budget reasons and stuff, they don't have enough hours to just be giving out. So because I'm a new hire, they basically, I work like once a week. And so I went over to Texas for about two weeks in December and then a week this, like last week. So I just got back from Texas I was basically just spending time with my family it's basically been like a whole vacation for the last two months I'm back and while I was gone I feel like every time I leave and I'm just like on vacation or I'm going back to Texas to visit family I get a shit ton of PR packages and I'm grateful but it's a little overwhelming when I get back because now I'm just like oh my god I literally have so much to film with that being said I basically just decided to do kind of like a I don't want to say unboxing because I basically already opened it like let's be honest like I got back and the first thing I did was open the the packages because I wanted to know what was in them but I'm just gonna go over the things that I got because I had like while I did open the package I didn't like open up the packaging and stuff so like the eyeliners and stuff are still like in their packaging with that being said while I was gone covergirl launched their full spectrum collection it's a series of face lips and eyes the full spectrum collection brings out the truest tones with velvety matte concealers foundations to choose from as as well as high pigmented eyeshadows, lipstick, blushes that pop against any skin tone. Designed specifically with multicultural women in mind, we set out to create a line of seriously pigmented colors like no other. I love all the imagery. This is definitely something that I will be behind. So first things first, the package I got is the Full Spectrum CoverGirl collection. By the way, I'm gonna pause right now and I'm literally going to say, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you can be notified every time I post a video which sometimes is every week sometimes it's every two months I you know what I upload when I upload here in this channel we DGAF this is the package I got it is literally so heavy so the first bo little box that I'm gonna pick out is the little lip da, 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 da. it reminds me kind of a little lunch box or a little lunch box tray so the first things first there's four lipsticks in here mad money maroons charms and prodigy looks like this actually have all of their lipsticks that they have come out with because they sent them out to me in PR when it was like National Lipstick Day. I'm actually gonna swatch Marooned if I can open it. Oh my god. It, also, please ignore my nails. I have literally been traveling that I just have not had time and every time I told myself I'm gonna get my nails done today, something came up and then it just didn't happen and I actually work tomorrow so I don't know what I'm gonna do. So this is Marooned. It's this beautiful maroon shade. It's like a satin finish. I don't think it's a matte finish or did like a demi matte it has a sheen to it i'm actually gonna go ahead and swatch all of them i tend to actually really like their formulation i find that they do wear very nicely i haven't found a lipstick from covergirl that i just absolutely hate like even some of the weird colors or i don't want to say weird colors but even some of the fun colors that i would personally never wear are very pigmented see like that's a nice little satin shade this is the shade charmed this looks like a satin shade and that didn't isn't as pigmented as the others but because it's a satin shade I'm not mad a couple swipes and you're good to go I think that this would look amazing on top of a lip liner which covergirl actually has a ton of lip liners that correspond with their lipsticks their wide variety of lipsticks so here is mad money Oh, I mean that one's not as pigmented as I would like. I like it. I don't know if I would use it, but it's nice that I have the option now to use. They also have lip glosses, I'm going to assume. Yeah, so it's the full spectrum CoverGirl lip glosses. I have three shades. So they're a high color satin finish. They're pretty vibrant, stain touch to perfect the pouch. Okay, so they stain the lips a little bit to stay on all day. They will retail from $6 to $0.92 to $9.49. Depending where you go, I'm going to assume that Walmart is probably going to be the cheapest cheapest price. And then the moisturizing lip glosses are high shine lips perfect for any occasion giving you perfect addition to your luxe look. So there's 14 shades of these. That's amazing. So I only got three shades but there's 14 shades. Okay. I don't know what color this is but it's this. Oh wow. 
Oh wow, she's pigmented. I actually really like the pigmentation in the gloss. I don't know what color this is, but it's beautiful. I dig it. Oh, is it Gloss Idol? Okay, so this shade is called Believe Me. It's this beautiful mauve pink, more on the rose tone. I actually really like how pigmented these are. Like, I'm, I'm kind of shook with the... I'm a really bad swatcher, can you tell? Okay, the red is a little patchy, but I'm not, I'm not mad. But I never not wear lip liner unless it's like a clear gloss. That's pretty pigmented. So this one is Why Not. Actually, I'm lying. Yeah, this is Why Not. Not. She's pretty pigmented. She's pretty pigmented. I will say out of all three of them, the Believe Me is going to be the most pigmented. And then we have the Matte Idol Liquid Lipsticks. These are high impact lip colors providing 24 hour rich color coverage with a lightweight feel and vegan friendly formula. So there's 12 shades. I got Ace, Tyrant, and Fortune. So this one is going to be Tyrant. So Tyrant is a beautiful cherry, well, cherry red. And I really like the formulation. It feels like weight on my hand. Hopefully that does not stain. And then we have Ace, which is this purple. I never know what I'm going to do with the fun colors, but you know what? I'm happy they send me fun colors because they're probably colors that I would never personally purchase, so it's nice to have in my collection. But that's really fun. It's not as pigmented as the red, but again, colors like this, I would probably use some type of lip liner underneath. And then this one is Fortune. And that one's really pigmented. It's like this beautiful, like, plum red color, more of a cranberry. Very pigmented. So out of the three, the two, the cranberry and the red are probably my favorite. Purple, not so pigmented, but I find that pastels tend to kind of lack pigmentation sometimes. Like, no shade, but even some of Jeffree Star's pastel colors that I have gotten in the past aren't, like, just comparing, like, a high-end brand versus, you know, a drugstore, aren't as pigmented as some of the other more natural shades. So just keep that in mind. I still think that for the price, of six dollars and ninety-two cents. This is pretty. This is pretty dope. So moving on to the eyes. Okay. So one of my eyeshadow palettes that came in the kit actually broke. So I'm not going to be able to show you guys some of those, unfortunately, just because when I opened it, it was such a mess that I just I can't show it to you guys. I actually ended up putting it away. So in the eyes, we have the So Saturated Eight Shade Shadow Palette. So each palette has eight vibrant shades designed to vividly pop against medium to deep skin tones, giving an easy to use kaleidoscope of colors available in four unique color pop palettes, Reverence, Posh, Gravity, and Zodiac. Each palette offers rich color payout in three different finishes, matte, shimmer, and metallic. So I have all four palettes. Unfortunately, I can only show you Zodiac, Posh, and Reverence. So Gravity is the one that broke for me. It was very cool toned, I'll say that. It kind of reminded me of the Naked Smoky palette. So the three palettes, we have the natural nude tones. These are really pretty, remind me kind of a naked palette, but obviously on a budget. These palettes retail from 10 to $13, depending where you buy them. Again, I'm assuming Walmart is the place to be when it comes to getting them the cheapest price. And then this one is very rose gold toned, and this one is the Posh Chic palette. I actually really like this palette. Like, I, I am about this palette. This is literally my go-to everyday shades. I love that it has the rose gold and then we have zodiac it's gonna be the fun colorful palette this one looks very exciting like look at that yellow i'm actually gonna go ahead and actually put that on my eyelids because i want to see how pigmented this is and i'm not gonna use the brush because i do not like those types of brushes so i'm gonna take the yellow shade and i'm just gonna pop that on my Oh, okay, I picked up a little too much and it started flaking on me, but the color payoff, wow is all I can literally say. So the color payoff is actually really nice. I'm actually obsessed with how pigmented it is. Like, I am building it up only because I've never done, I have actually don't really do eyeshadow with my fingers, so this is a first for me. And I have really big fingers and really small eyelids. But anyway, I'm just building upwards and kind of blending it out with my finger. I'm really impressed with that yellow. It's phenomenal. Normally, I feel like with eyeshadows, I have to use a base in order to get really pigmented, but I'm actually shook. I, this is definitely a palette I'm going to be picking up if all the shadows have that beautiful pigmentation. Like, that is just beautiful. So, as you guys know, I actually used to work for Becca Cosmetics and when the Amazon Goddess palette came out, they had a beautiful sparkly blue shade in that palette, but when you swatched that B, it was 
not the prettiest and you act they came out with a whole statement that you actually have to wet it keep in mind when I worked for them that's the same story they gave me so what you guys heard is exactly what we heard but as an MUA girl I caught BS so I'm just gonna go into the blue on here it's gonna go back and forth and I'm just gonna swatch that no I'll swatch it on the back of my hand is this the back of your hand or the front of your hand I do not know and I'm just gonna swatch oh yes yes that is pigmented and you can go back oh my god I'm living I'm literally like this this is pretty okay so I'm gonna go into the green and then again I'm gonna swatch it right next to the blue wow that's beautiful that's beautiful it's not chalky but I will say that when you swatch them with your finger it does the powder kind of picks up like in little clumps and then it doesn't affect the way the shadow goes on but it will affect the way like like I definitely have that's why you saw me go up and forth to kind of break apart the little clump um but the pigmentation amazing it's not chalky it's really it's just beautiful I'm gonna go into the other palette this is the posh palette and I'm actually gonna go into one of the matte shades just because the, this is the first shade let's see oh wow okay so again like I said it is coming up in little clumps nothing horrible like nothing you can't work with like I'm sure if you were using a brush it's not even gonna be an issue but it does not affect the pigmentation the pigmentation is definitely there and then I'm gonna go into this beautiful rose gold shade because I feel like that is the winner out of all of those yeah so I don't know if you can see the little clumps but I definitely just have to go over them in order to disperse them a little bit but that is beautiful very pigmented, very true to color. I'm shook with how pigmented these eyeshadows are. So then the next thing they gave me was the all day eyeliner. So this is defining moment all day eyeliner. There is a total of six shades. I have all six shades, so it's black is black, gold metallic, silver metallic, electric green, deep blue, and deep purple. So these retail for $6.92. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these off camera. So the camera might not pick it up, but it's definitely picking up on my pan. It's a really pretty gold. I'm gonna put the green right next to it. So they are actually metallic shadows. I mean, metallic eyeliner. So that might be why the camera is not picking them up. Obviously my studio lighting might make them not as prominent because they are reflecting light because they are not a matte shade. Um, all of them tend to, tend to be really matte. Even the black I find to be like a shiny black. It's not going to be like a matte black, like maybe like the Kat Von D. Ooh, the silver is really pigmented. I actually really like that. So I don't know if that's going to pop up on camera. You can definitely see the green. The gold, not so much. I feel like it's just reflecting too much light. You can definitely see some of the darker colors. I will say the purple one is really pretty and the silver I think that's gonna be the winner for me the gold one you can see on my hand in person but the camera is definitely not picking it up I'm actually gonna take the green one and kind of just go to town on my eyes real quick my bottom the tip definitely just broke off but that's fine they're very soft so I'm a little scared definitely pigmented like I so one swipe and I got a lot of color payoff and I really like that I wish they had more of these bright colors and I low-key wish they were matte but despite the fact that they are metallic I still love how pigmented that green was I don't know if you can see it on camera but normally you know an eyeliner like this wouldn't show up on my skin tone I would definitely have to go in with a bright concealer to get that effect overall the eye stuff is definitely an A plus the lips there was some hit and misses for me like I said some of them are a little patchy but I still some of the shades were dope the eye stuff I definitely give overall 100% definitely look into it because it's pretty bomb next going into to the face the first thing that I noticed when I open this is the primer so the primer is the full spectrum covergirl matte ambition mattifying skin primer it has sunscreen it's SPF 20 so I actually really like that it oh I should have shaken this okay literally just squirt it out so if you buy this make sure you shake it up shake it up I'm actually just testing out the consistency the consistency is pretty liquidy a while ago it kind of spurred out but I think it's because it has sunscreen it probably separated in the bottle pressing it onto my skin it feels very silicone which is really nice if you have texture because it's gonna smoothen out your skin and it's gonna make your makeup glide on better 
Um, but with the primer, I'll have to definitely try this out on another video for you guys. But I love that it has SPF. A lot of primers don't have SPF, so it's always nice to find one that does. The only mattifying primer I can think of that has SPF is going to be the Hourglass one, but that one's like $56. So next, we kind of have some Sculpting Expert cheek palettes. I have three of them. I have... Okay, so it's called Flame. Bronze Flame Blush Touch and Rose Touch. So each one has two highlighter shades and like a highlighting blush. They look like this. I'm actually gonna go into FS200, which is the bronze flame. Yeah, so my thing with highlights is I want to see if they are pigmented. So I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia A23 brush and I'm gonna go into this middle shade and just pop that on. So obviously I had highlight on, but when you pop that on top, girl. So as you guys can see, my highlight before was a little matte. Oh yes, yes. I'm gonna go in with the other shade in this palette, which is the champagne color. I'm gonna get you guys to see that. I'm gonna go into that, and I'm gonna go into this side. Oh yes. So I'm actually pretty shook with this because I find that these are like, they give you that Anastasia kind of glow. They're not chalky either. They look really nice on the skin. They look very nice. This reminds me of the Sun Dipped palette from Anastasia, the glow kit. I don't think this blush is gonna look pretty on me. I'm gonna swatch it real quick. Yeah, it's kind of like a brown blush. We also have an F100, so this is gonna be a little lighter. These have some bright ass highlights. So I'm just gonna pop this on top. Okay, the Sculpt Expert palette, as far as the highlighting shades on there, A++. Some of the blushes are pretty. I just feel like I personally use them. Again, I'll probably use them in a video. So we also have the Contour and Correct palette. This is pretty dope. I'm not gonna swatch these guys, but you kind of get a little bit of everything. I mean, I you're not gonna be able to highlight with this, but you're definitely gonna be able to, actually it says you can highlight with this. I, I don't know about all that. This was some deep tones. Very pretty, very beautiful. Definitely use this for contouring. I don't think I can use this for highlighting unless there's a palette in here that I am missing and maybe there's more. So another thing that I got in here, and I think there's 16 of these. So I actually don't know if any of these are going to work out for my skin tone. They sent me all the deep tan shades. Light, medium, neutral is probably going to be my best bet as far as under eye brightening. I'm gonna go ahead and just open it up. Let's see the consistency. I'm not gonna, again, some of these products I'm not gonna do a full review or anything just because I'm gonna do a separate video where I do like a full face look with these. That's pretty though. I like the consistency. It's very matte. Do you guys see that? It's like deeper than I am. Okay, so the brightening concealers don't have the shade name on them, but this is in the shade light, medium, neutral. Again, this is too dark for me. Looking at my hand, this is way deeper than I am. So I know that the whole line is meant for multi cultural woman. I'm just a little confused as to why there's only six um, brightening concealers and they are all deeper than my skin tone. I'm not mad. I personally will find use for these as far as like a contouring shade and whatnot. You know, obviously I think it's great that these are definitely meant for multicultural women and deeper skin tones. I'm just a little confused why they would have foundation shades for lighter skin tones and not concealers for lighter skin tones. This says that there's only six shades, so I guess I have the six shades and there is. that's just my feedback. Moving on, I did get all 12 of the powder foundations. The powder foundations come in 12 shades. They retail from $8.69 to $11.99. Lightest color is called Light Cool, and then Light Neutral and Light Golden, all the way to Deep Cool, Deep Golden, and Deep Neutral. So that's pretty dope. I'm actually really excited because I love using a powder foundation as contour, and I will definitely be adding these to my kit. I love that they come in every shade. So I'm probably light, medium, golden. And of course I opened the wrong one. Okay, light, medium, neutral. I'm just gonna go in with the brush, pop that on. So I'm gonna go in with the powder foundation and just... Gives you a very beautiful velvety texture to the skin. I actually really like it. Guys, I'm literally obsessed with this highlighter. Like you will not be catching me using any other highlighter than this. Pretty bomb. Um, I like the powder foundation, very nice texture. Is it full coverage? Let me find out. Oh yeah, it has some coverage. 
definitely not my shade when I swatch it on my hand. It's definitely deeper or more golden. Definitely gonna be using those guys. So the last thing on here is the Shine All Day Matte Ambition All Day Shine Free Foundation. This is a transfer resistant long wear formula with buildable coverage to hide pores and perfections and keep shine controlled all day. Offers a natural matte finish using over 5% mattifying powders to help absorb oil and blur pores. Available in 20 shades. Retails for $9.96 up to $14. They look like this. So you got gloss and then plastic top. I like that it comes with a pump. I actually really like the packaging. It looks very chic. I like the font and everything. I just, I like the whole vibe it's giving me. I'm always so happy when CoverGirl sends me other shades because, you know, I'm broke. I'm just going to my kit. You need your makeup done? Hit me up in the DMs. If you're in LA, I'm not as expensive as you think I might be. The last time CoverGirl sent me foundations, my friend Lauren was with me and she's black and I was with her and we were swatching foundations and we were actually shook that there was a color for her. She is not here today, so I am not going to be commenting on the deepness or the deepest foundation in the range, but I am going to swatch it for you guys just in case you're watching this and you want to know. The way it's going to reflect on my skin tone is not the way it's going to reflect on someone who is deeper, especially coming from personal experience as being a makeup artist. So anyway, I'm just gonna swatch it for the purposes of you guys getting an idea. Um, on my skin tone, obviously, that is very deep. I like, ooh, I actually like how creamy that looks or how it feels. Um, there you go, guys. That is the deepest shade. Pop off in the comments, sis. I'm just kidding. I'm actually gonna swatch my shade because I'm very curious. I picked up, I'm probably not like golden. I'm, I'm lying to myself right now. So I'm gonna go in with my shade and I am literally just gonna swatch that. It's a little more golden than me. Me, but I like it. I'm not gonna do a whole review on everything. I'm definitely gonna do that in a separate video. But overall, this is pretty great. I like what I'm seeing. I love the PR. I love everything I got. I love that there's an option for everybody. I love that they have a skin tone. Again, no comment. Well, I love that there's an option. I don't know if it works. Not my place to say if you're looking for the deepest shade, definitely go to a different beauty bloggers thing. I'm just not deep complected. I'm definitely on the lighter range. I know that. Definitely be reviewing this in another video. That's all for now. If you watch this video all the way to the very end, leave a P emoji down in the comments so everyone's like WTF what what's going on what did I miss um, and until next time guys make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so that you can keep watching more videos from me and until next time guys you got panda out